Hi my friends, happy Monday. So here we are for our weekly Essential Oils 101 class. And I'm so happy that you are here to join me. Um, as always, there will be a prize winning opportunity. Um, so just keep your ears out for that. Um, okay, so what we're gonna talk about for this training, the Essential, one on, Essential Oils 101 training, is that we're gonna talk about three different things. One, what are essential oils? Two, how to use essential oils, and then three, how to obtain the essential oils. So the essential oils um, are truly natural. Um, they are products from the earth, and doTERRA is actually a Latin derivative meaning gift of the earth. So what happens is for the oils, they come from fruit, they come from trees, from plants, from leaves, from minerals, but what makes doTERRA unique is that whatever you see in the oil is exactly what it is. So if it's lavender, then it's just going to be lavender. There's not going to be any other byproducts in here. There aren't any other chemicals, um, any other materials than 100% the lavender. Um, and what's also nice about doTERRA is that it has third-party testing. So each bottle has a number on here so that you can then go to a website and check it and verify that it has passed the testing. So we really like that. Um, also, essential oils are non-addictive, which is hugely important, especially when you are wanting to replace some of the um, over-the-counter or prescription drugs and using essential oils. You can feel very confident that they're non-addictive. They may taste good but they're non-addictive. Um, also, they are safe for your entire family. Um, infants, toddlers, children, um, adults, pregnant women, elderly folks, um, your pets, except for birds. Everyone can utilize um, the essential oils, and so that is super exciting. So um, I could go into more detail about how exactly the oils are obtained, but that's not very exciting. There's videos that I can share with you that tell you that information. Um, and the way that I got introduced to doTERRA was that one of my girlfriends went to um, a in-house party and she was introduced to the essential oils and she got super excited. And so when I met her for lunch, she was just sharing everything about it with me. And I wasn't terribly excited until um, my older daughter came home with lice. Um, which, you know, just happens. It's a huge nuisance. And so I reached out to Rebecca and I was like, okay, surely there's got to be a lice prevention spray. And there is. And it is eucalyptus, rosemary, malacaluca, lemon, and lavender. And I've also been told that clove works really well as well. So all you would do is just put it into like a spray bottle with water. Um, and I was always very generous with the oils. Um, and then when I would get out of the shower and my hair was still wet, I was very generous with the spray as well. So once I had those oils, then I got a diffuser. And now I have probably like 10 diffusers in my house. And I really just enjoy having the diffusers going. Um, and then I started using the vitamin and the toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner and the soaps and all that kind of fun stuff. And it wasn't until about six months ago when I converted from a um, customer to a wellness advocate that I really started learning more about the topical use uses and the internal uses and since then my knowledge base has just um, grown tremendously as well as me incorporating the oils into my daily life so it's super fun um, so that's what um, essential oils are now we want to talk about how to use essential oils um, and I have on the website Hi, Bridget. I have on the website a link so that you can access this through a PDF file. You can um, certainly print it out, but it's 68 pages, so I recommend just opening it up. And if you want a copy, I'm happy to send you one because I have a whole bunch thinking that they'd be easy to mail with samples. They were not, but I'm happy to send them out because they're just collecting dust. So, you're so sweet. Um, okay, so um, we want to talk about the ways in which to use the essential oils, and there's three ways in which to use them. There is aromatically, there's topically, and there's internally. So if you go to page nine on the product guide, this is the single essential oils, and this will show you that every single essential oil can be used aromatically, topically, 
And then if it's topically, there's NEAT, meaning you should be able to put it directly on your skin. S means skin sensitivity, so the kiddos, infants, pregnant women, elderly folks, you'd want to combine the oil with a fractionated coconut oil or a coconut oil or any type of oil, you'd want to combine it. And then D means dilute, so that's super hot. That's going to be the oregano and the cinnamon, and you want to automatically go ahead and use a carrier oil um, to dilute it a little bit. And then you have internally. And so not everything can be done internally. And so you want to reference this guide or doTERRA. It's got information. The bottles themselves have information. So that's super helpful. Um, aromatically means just that you are smelling it. So you can smell it by using the diffuser, which is one of my favorite ways to use it. Or you can just put a couple of drops in your hand rub it together and inhale, and that's gonna be the fastest way to get it to your brain. Um, so that's aromatically, and all the oils can be used aromatically. Um, the next way is topically, and again, we have um, N for neat, which means you just put it right on your skin. S is skin sensitivity, so you wanna use carrier oil, mix it together, and then um, D is dilute, so, which means you wanna definitely put it on there. And regardless, if you put something on your skin and it starts making you panic because it's burning, it's too hot, then go ahead and use a carrier oil to get it off your skin. Um, you want to, um, that's how you'd want to do it. Soap and water is not going to be your friend to get it off. So um, that's how you do it topically. And basically, wherever you have an ailment, that's where you'd put it on topically, except for the inside of your ears, your nose and your eyeballs. You can put it any place else. So we'll talk about like you can, if you have a headache, you can put, rub some um, peppermint or lavender on your temples. Um, if you have soreness, then you definitely can put it on the sore spot. Moles, you can put directly on the moles. Um, the bottom of your feet is fantastic because you have less skin sensitivity and larger pores. So that is absolutely fantastic. Um, and just about everything, can be done topically. You just want to be mindful of, do I need to dilute this or not? And even if it doesn't need to be diluted and you put it on your skin and it's uncomfortable, use a carrier oil to get it off. The third way, which I'm really starting to enjoy, is internally. And again, you want to check um, the product guide, doTERRA, or the bottle itself to know if you can take it internally. And that could be as simple as frankincense, just putting it on um, the bottom of your tongue, right there. Um, it can mean adding it to water, which is my favorite thing to do now. And with water, you wanna make sure you use a metal or glass water bottle. Um, plastic, there's some sort of chemistry that happens with the oils and the plastic that's not good. So you do wanna use metal or glass water bottles. Um, or you can take it in the form of a soft gel. So internally is really fun as well. Um, there's a woman that I, um, she's a doTERRA woman and I follow her and she has lupus. And so to treat her lupus, she has like 10 different oils that initially she was just rubbing it on the bottom of her feet, but then that became a little cumbersome. So now she creates her own soft gels. So you could do that as well. If you, I mean, I'm sure it feels nice giving yourself foot massage, but if you just don't have time, then you can use the soft gels as well. Just be mindful that um, with soft gels, they're you know they're not heat resistant, so they can clump together and then they're kind of ruined. Um, real fast, the blends are on page 29, and that again shows you aromatically, which they can all be done aromatically, topically, and then internally. Most blends you do not use internally, just so you know. And then if you turn to page 34 and 35, this shows you the veggie cap. It shows you topical uses, and doTERRA does have a variety of lotions and things like that. And what I do is I get my little cheapy H-E-B brand um, lotion, and then I add my own essential oils to it, save myself some money. Um, and then I can change it up too, which is fun. And then here are the diffusers which I do have a lot of doTERRA um, diffusers because I think they're awesome. But um, if you want to buy one from Amazon or whatever, you certainly can. Um, I can't vouch for the quality if you go someplace else. 
Um, but I do know through doTERRA they're great quality. Okay, so what I want to talk about now is the top 10 essential oils um, in a variety of uses for them. Now, for the month of September, doTERRA is running a 20% off of six of the eight enrollment kits. The enrollment kit that I'm going to recommend is the Home Essentials um, Enrollment Kit, which includes the top 10 oils, so the 10 oils I'm going to talk about today, plus a diffuser which is hugely important because once you get these suckers, you're gonna want to use them in your diffuser. Um, and also what's nice about the um, Home Essentials kit is they're gonna be, nine of the 10 of them are gonna be in um, 50 milliliters and there's only gonna be one, the deep blue, that's in a five milliliter. So it's a really good value to go ahead and get the Home Essentials um, enrollment kit with the diffuser. Okay, so the first essential oil I wanna talk about is frankincense. When in doubt, bring frankincense out. Right here. It's the king of oils. It's real good. Um, it, frankincense is mainly, the two main things for frankincense that you want to keep in mind is cellular growth and repair and then mental focus. So, like I was saying earlier, you can put a couple of drops of frankincense under your tongue and that is great for cellular growth and it will give you quite a kick of mental alertness. Um, it didn't taste good, just so you know. So a couple drops will go a long way. Um, you get used to it. It's not great. It doesn't taste good. Um, also, you can put a couple of drops in your hand and inhale it, and that will help um, also increase your mental focus. So if you just can't stand the taste of it under your tongue, then just put a couple of drops and inhale, and then voila, mental focus. You can also um, diffuse it, and it will help induce feelings of peace, satisfaction, and overall health. You can massage it to your, into your wrists and arms to uplift your mood and increase your focus. So again, this will big into mental focus. We like it. Um, you can apply it to the bottoms of your feet to also help with feelings of relaxation and balanced mood. And I use this um, specifically for my mom's back because she has moly molies on her back and they were driving her crazy. So when she gets out of the shower, I put the frankincense on her back and then I put a deep blue rub on her back, which I will talk about that as well. Um, and then I have a roller that I keep in the kitchen um, since it's short season still. And so when I walk by, I'll put on some frankincense on a mole that I have on my leg. So it's really wonderful. So frankincense is one of the top 10 that you can use aromatically, topically, and internally. The next one that I wanna talk about is lavender. And we're all super familiar with lavender because it's in all of the baby lotions and potions. Um, and it's in all the baby's lotions and potions because it's very soothing and calming, soothing and calming. So if you're feeling anxious, um, anything like that, worried, distracted, you can inhale some lavender, you can drink some lavender, you can put some lavender on you. If you're wanting to get ready for bed, this is great to diffuse by your bedside. It's great to put on the bottom of your feet or your children's feet. In fact, I'm gonna do this with Caroline Hope because she's having a hard time falling asleep. Um, I put this on my dog's paws last night, Butter Butt's paws, because she has a hard time staying asleep. So I put it on her paws and sure enough, she was asleep all night long. Um, you could put it into a water bottle and then spray your linens with lavender. Really great to do if you travel a lot. Um, you, this is, okay, so here is a question for you. Text me at 512-574-2410 and tell me what's in an allergy balm. And that's gonna be lemon, lavender, and peppermint, okay? I'll give you that information again. Um, also, since you will put it into a create your own little spray, um, you can also use the spray for sunburns because lavender helps with skin blemishes. So it helps cool the skin from sunburns. Also, if you have bug bites, lavender is super good. So we like it. Excuse me. So this is really great um, internally, topically, and aromatically, the lavender, wonderful. And you can always get, um, you can get nine of the top 10 essential oils in the roller too. It's um, all of the oils except for lemon. Cause you don't really use lemon topically. You could, I guess, I choose not to. Okay, speaking of lemon, 
which again is one of the um, ingredients, one of the oils in the um, allergy balm, 512-574-2410. Tell me what's in the allergy balm, which is lemon, lavender, and peppermint, and you will likely be a prize winner. Okay, so lemon we know as a cleansing oil. We have all kinds of uses for this, um, for cleaning. You can make a spray bottle with lemon and spray your counters. You can get a bowl of water and put some lemon in there and put it in the microwave and it helps loosen up the gunk on the microwave. You could put a cotton ball and some drops of lemon into your vacuum cleaner and when you vacuum your house and it smells nice and clean, you could get some baking soda and lemon and then spray it on your carpet um, and then vacuum it up and that'll help. Um, but you can add um, lemon to water as you're cleaning your fruits and vegetables and that'll help clean it. But what I love about lemon, in addition to the fact that it's an out part of the allergy balm, is it helps clean your insides. So it detoxifies your insides and it helps with cellular repair inside, obviously, because that's where your cells are. Um, most of the, all of the citrus oils that I have found are great for detoxification. Um, so that's wonderful. So for me, when I make my allergy balm, I do about 10 drops of lemon, two to three drops of lavender, and two to three drops of peppermint. Because if I do too much peppermint, then it burns my lips. If I do too much lemon, uh, lavender, and I just don't like it. Um, and then I recently started adding melacaluca, which I will tell you why in just a minute. Um, so lemon is great also to add to water if you're experiencing heartburn. So lemon is wonderful. Again, it's one of the top 10 oils that you can use topically. I mean, I guess you can use it topically, but this is gonna be a carrier oil, I'm pretty sure. Internal use. And um, it is also a huge energizer. So if you need an energy boost, put, the, put um, some lemon in your diffuser, which in fact, um, I have two diffusers that I have, one in my kitchen, one in my mom's room by her killer box that is lemon. And so it helps keep it nice and fresh, but it's a good energizer. This you can use topically, but it requires a carrier oil. I just don't know why you'd use it. I think um, lemon helps with brown spots on your face, I think. If you know why you would use it lemon topically, let me know. I'd be curious to hear what you have to say. Okay, the next one we have is peppermint, which is the third ingredient of the lemon lavender peppermint allergy balm, 512-574-2410. I'm serious about prize winners. I had two last Monday. I'd be happy to have two more today. You just have to send me your information. Um, but peppermint is going to be the cool and invigorate, okay? So this is really good for sore muscles. This is great for attention headaches. So you'd put a couple drops on your finger and then rub your temples. Um, you can certainly drink this, but again, a little bit goes a long way. Um, one of my girlfriends added it to her bath, and it was a little bit startling. So I encourage you not to use that. But again, if you do put any type of oils on your body that's uncomfortable, soap and water is not going to get it off. You want to use a carrier oil. Um, if you inhale peppermint, it will help um, clear out your sinuses. It will help um, curb your cravings. And it's a mood lifter. So a whole bunch of stuff in just a little tiny bottle. Um, you can also add it to your shampoo to stimulate the scalp energize your mind and wake you up. So um, peppermint has all kinds of wonderful uses. And in each bottle, you have about 250 um, drops. So a little bit does indeed go a long way. So my lemon, if I do 10 drops of lemon per uh, water bottle, then that's only 25 that water bottles that I get out of this. But if I only do a couple of my peppermint, it lasts me a lot longer. So Okay, the next one is Melacaluca, which I said I have recently started adding to my allergy balm. And the reason for that is because it helps with skin, scalp, and hair. And I've shared with you guys, I have these horrible hot spots on my head from my scalp eczema. And so I will put the essential oils, the Melacaluca, right on my hot spots, rub, um, and it helps so much more for me. Um, I do have a prescription lotion that I can use, which is effective, but it hurts my head. It gives me a headache. So the Melacaluca, I can just put it on the hot spots. It does not give me a headache. And then my pillow smells awesome. But I'm drinking it because I'm hoping I can do a double whammy. I'm hoping I can internally get rid of this and then topically get rid of this. Um, 
but it is also, you can use it as a mild, mold and mildew remover. Um, it's great to add to, if you have stinky gym shoes or gym bags, you can make a spray or just put some drops directly into it. It helps with dandruff, so you can put some drops in your shampoo and it will help with that. It's really good for tick removal. Um, it helps with eczema and acne, um, but what also is wonderful is that you can use it to help with earaches. So what you'd wanna do is get a, just a little bit, put it around your ear, and then get a cotton ball and put a couple of drops on your cotton ball and then put it in. And so I do wanna say that um, essential oils is great to treat symptoms, but if you do have a major medical emergency, please seek modern medical treatment, please please and thank you. If you have cut yourself so severely where you need stitches, go get some medical treatment, please. And if you have an earache that's making you want to just kill yourself, go seek medical treatment. This is, you know, um, I love essential oils and I use it daily, but you know, I also see a doctor. So I just want to make that clear. You know, okay, so Melacaluca is wonderful. Use that. The one oil that I have yet to use on a daily basis is oregano. Um, oregano is really good for natural immune support. Um, you can add it to water and it will help your sinuses and your allergies. Um, you can treat toenail fungus using oregano or ringworm, athlete's foot. But oregano is one that is D, so it means dilute. So you absolutely do want to use a carrier oil with oregano um, before you put it on your skin. I suppose you could use this aromatically too. I mean, if you want your house to smell like an Italian kitchen. Um, and speaking of Italian food, what you'd want to do is get a little toothpick and dab the toothpick into the oregano and then use the toothpick to stir into your sauces. I mean, that's how little you need to use of oregano. Um, oregano also can help with menstrual, cramp, menstrual cramps. So again, you would want to dilute it um, and then rub it on your abdomen and that will help with menstrual cramps. I um, also heard this weekend, it's good for parasites to drink, to, to drink it and helps with parasites. Um, okay, so now we're going to move to our blends, and the first blend I want to talk about is the Deep Blue. So if you were to get the Home Essentials Kit, which is currently 20% off, all of the oils are going to be in the 15 milliliters except for the Deep Blue. The Deep Blue will be in a little 5 milliliter, um, and Deep Blue is great for sore muscles. So it is really great for pre- or post-workout. Um, I put it on my mom's back because she has arthritis and back pain. Um, my girls, now that they're going through growth spurts, I put it on their um, hips usually, legs. Um, what is wonderful is though you cannot use it internally, they do have these awesome soft gels. So I have replaced my mother's Tylenol 3. She was taking Tylenol 3 with codeine in the morning, and now I give her one of these in the morning and one at night, and she is not complaining. I myself have used this when I have had um, sore muscles, and it's almost immediate. Hi, Jenna. Perfect timing. We're talking about the deep blue soft gels. So deep blue is for sore muscles and um, I just love it. Love, love, love it. You know, if you have cramping in your hands, anything like that, use the deep blue rub. Um, now the natural solutions home, uh, natural solutions enrollment kit. Yay. I'm so glad to hear that Jen. I was going to reach out to you. Yay. Um, the home essentials enrollment kit is also 20% off and that will include um, the top 10 oils, plus more oils, plus some deep blue rub, plus a wooden box, plus a diffuser, plus the lifelong vitality pack, all this wonderful stuff. Um, okay, so the next one we want to talk about, oh, also you can get um, the deep blue in a roller, which is not readily available to me. Um, so we like the deep blue. It is wonderful. Hi, Kara. Um, the other essential oil is the breathe and this is the respiratory blend so if you are having a hard time breathing um, you can put the breathe into your diffuser that is really wonderful they do have a roller and so you can put it like under your nose on your chest they have um, the vapor rub stick which is good you can put it on your chest on the bottom of your feet 
Um, breathe is great, you know, before you go do some cardio to open your lungs up. They also have these respiratory drops. Um, and breathe is just wonderful. I love it. It is one you do not use internally. So it is definitely aromatic and topical. Um, the next one is the Digest Zen, which is for your digest gin. And this you use topically. So um, yesterday we went to the Alamo and I, I enjoyed a whole pizza and at one and a half cookies. So I came home and I put this in my belly button and rubbed it. Um, and it helps with gas and bloating, motion sickness, car sickness, um, things of that nature. And so it's um, topically or you can drink it. So you just put it in a glass or metal water bottle and it is wonderful. Um, yes, okay, so now I wanna talk about On Guard. And On Guard just has a whole bunch of products. And if you go to your um, product guide, it is going to be on page 40, 41, and 42. There's just a whole bunch of different products for the On Guard. And the On Guard is for immunity support. And so, you know, I've talked about how we just are getting bombarded with chemicals and toxins all day long. And, you know, we don't live in a bubble, so we'll never be completely rid of our toxins and chemicals, but we can try to reduce them. And one way we can try to reduce them while building our immunity is through the On Guard products. So in the um, Home Essentials Kit, you would receive um, a 15 milliliter bottle, which you can use um, aromatically. So if there's germies around, I definitely put this in my diffuser. You can use this topically. So you can put it on the bottom of your feet and that helps build immunity or you can drink it. Um, I don't think I've ever drank it before, but they talk about adding it to tea. It tastes like cinnamon. So I'm sure I would like it just fine. Um, they also have these uh, drops and they have these really cool beadlets. Um, and I've read where they can help um, quit smoking. You know, it might help with quit smoking, but look at these little tiny beadlets. And you just put it in your mouth and it will help give you an immunity boost. Um, peppermint has these little beadlets as well. And peppermint's great. Obviously it will give help, you know, freshen your breath, but also helps with digestion. So either the On Guard or the peppermint beadlets are really good. Um, the On Guard again is going to help keep them germies away and give immunity protection. Um, one of my new favorite things, oh please, oh goodness, hold on. Here we go, is this guy. And I just put it in my bag um, that I use when I go walk the dog, because you know, once you walk the dog and you have to pick up to poop, you might want to spray your hands. So this is really good because this is a nice little hand spray. So again, anyone who's around a lot of children, um, elderly people, you know, just a lot of people in general, you can use it to um, clean your hands. You can use it to clean your desk, to your little cube space. Um, I used it the other day on my steering wheel. Um, they also have this cleaner concentrate. So for my teacher friends, I would recommend more this because then you add it to this and this will last you so very long. Absolutely. Because a little tiny bit goes a long way. Um, and I don't know how often you have to clean your desk, but I fear if you use the hand, hand mist, then you'll probably go through that way too fast. Um, so the cleaner concentrate, that's what we use in our house. We also added the laundry detergent. I use the toothpaste. Um, they just announced this weekend that they're doing an on guard mouth mouthwash, which I'm gonna be all over that. Um, so there's just a, a variety of different um, on guard products, which again, uh, build immunity and keep them, you know, let's reduce them germies that we have and the uh, chemicals and toxins that are surrounding us. Um, I also use the on guard soft gel as a daily immunity boost. Um, real fast before I move on to the next thing. So I am replacing my mother's medicine with um, either her diet or by um, essential oils. And I did the allergy bomb with her. She did not like it at all. So um, I was putting it in like a little shot glass 
and it was like painful for her to drink it. So this tri -Ease is the same exact thing. It's lemon, lavender, and peppermint. And so now I just give this to her twice a day, twice a day, and I feel so much more confident that she's getting so many less chemicals than when she was doing the allergy, um, over-the-counter allergy pill. So if you don't want to drink the allergy balm like I do, um, you can get these little tri -Ease. And it's wonderful. And I have seen a huge improvement with her allergies since she's been taking this twice a day. Um, another thing that got announced this weekend was the Copabea. Copabea. Um, I give that to my mother. Um, I give that under her tongue in the morning and at night instead of her Mucinex um, because it helps expel um, phlegm and suppress cough. It also is a really nice pain reliever. Um, I should not like that. It doesn't taste very good. It's not as bad as frankincense, but she didn't like it. And they just announced this weekend that they have a soft gel coming out for that. So I'm super excited. Um, I will be adding that to her mix because, you know, I try to keep her happy. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And this is um, doTERRA's Vitamin Pack. And it's actually, shockingly, their number one um, product. It's not essential oils, but it's this Lifelong Vitality Pack. And the recommendation is take it twice a day, but I can't remember to take pills. I, I can remember to take pills in the morning, but then I'm done. I don't remember to do it at night. So I just do it in the morning. And um, this is their multivitamin really very good multivitamin. Then here's your brain food. So this is going to be your omega threes with frankincense because frankincense helps with cellular growth and repair. And then here's your cellular repair, which is going to be frankincense. So the lifelong vitality pack really is just helps with whole mind, body, and spirit. Okay. So that's my essentials one-on-one -on -one class. We talked about what are essential oils. We talked about how to use the essential oils. And then we talked about the top 10 essential oils. So now how do you purchase them? We well, purchase them through me. Um, and right now, the month of September, six of the eight essential oil um, enrollment kits are 20% off, which is amazing. And again, my recommendation is to order um, the Home Essentials kit because nine out of the 10, yay, nine out of the 10 um, essential oils are going to be 15 milliliters. Only the deep blue will be a five milliliter bottle, and then you get a diffuser. And then if you really want to embrace essential oils in your life, then the Natural Solutions Enrollment Kit is awesome because it includes the top 10 plus a variety of other um, lifestyle products. And that's what I did. I enjoyed it. Um, the enrollment kits include the wholesale membership. And with the wholesale membership, you then get 25% off all additional product. So some of the other um, enrollment kits, like there's an all oils enrollment kit and a diamond enrollment kit. I do not recommend that because what happens is when you purchase an enrollment kit, we'll get you set up and you don't have to do this, but the idea is then you get set up on the loyalty rewards program so that on a monthly basis, when you replace your deep blue um, soft gels and um, tri ease and toothpaste and all that kind of stuff, your oils, then you not only get the benefit of product of the month for free, um, then you accrue credits and through those credits, you get free product. So if you just do everything all at once, then it's kind of like, then you don't get all your free product. So that's why I don't recommend those. Um, you can buy retail, of course. So if you think, okay, all I need in my life is a bottle of lavender and that lavender is going to last me for a year, then buy retail. There's no sense on doing the wholesale membership. Um, the wholesale membership is $25 a year, excuse me, is $35 the first year with 25% off. The next year it's $25 and you get a bottle of peppermint. So it's pretty awesome. Um, but again, you have the retail option or the wholesale membership option, which you can buy for $35 or through the enrollment kit. And the enrollment kits um, are 20% off for another six days. So that's what I have. Um, Jenna, you cannot qualify for the, um, the prize because you're already a prize winner. But if there's other people who want to text me at 512-574-2410 and tell me what's in an allergy bomb, you will be a prize winner. All right, you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.